Hey everybody, Tim here with today's episode of Star Trek Voyager Season 2, Episode 21, Resistance. So this was a good episode. This was a really wholesome, like really kind of dark and gritty, good storyline episode that, I mean, we're almost halfway through Season 2 at this point and I finally feel like we're out of that lull and things are actually getting pretty good. So this episode kind of has the crew going down to a planet and they're basically trying to get supplies. And we see Neelix down there, we see Janeway, Chakotay, Tuvok, Balana, most of the bridge crew. Um, or actually no, Chakotay's not there, he's on the Voyager. Um, and as as any Star Trek episode goes, shit goes wrong, and the crew basically gets attacked. So Tuvok and Balana are taken prisoner and Janeway is shot and she goes off to her own adventure, which I'll get to in a minute. And it's kind of interesting to watch like Neelix is the one who basically beams back aboard uh, Voyager and is to save the day. And we see like Chakotay up there and Harry Kim and he's trying to like get everything up and running. And then once things are up and running, Chakotay basically has to take command and they approach the planet and they're like, so hi, we've been here like kind of looking at your planet and some of our people are missing and we'd like to help, we'd like help getting them back. And of course the person who answers is like, oh yeah, give me just a second, let me see what I can find. And of course he ends up being the villain of the, the episode. Like, I mean, it's, it's classic Star Trek formula at this point. And so at the meantime, we see a lot of stuff going on with Balana and Tuvok where they're being like tortured and stuff and we learn a lot. The meat of this episode, like the main plot, is Janeway and how she is basically rescued by this guy who is, he's kind of, he's mentally ill and he's hes not doing well because he's experienced such trauma in his life. And he thinks that Janeway is his daughter and he he just keeps talking to her about how her mom is in prison and how they need to save her. And he writes letters to her every single week and stuff like that. And then when we, by the time we get to the end of the episode where Janeway is trying to break into the prison and we, we see this guy that we were just talking to and he's like, oh yeah, his wife and his daughter are dead. And like every so often he tries to storm the prison and we, we kind of play with it. We let him get a little far and then we eventually turn him back. And it's really heartbreaking to see this guy like go through, like his family was killed and he's just trying to cope with that and he can't do it. And by the time we get to the end of the episode where he's shot and he's dying and Janeway finally gives him that like peace of mind where she calls him father and he kind of dies in her arms, like saying my sweet daughter and stuff. It's a really sad episode. It's a really kind of tragic episode, but I thought it was really well done. I, I to be completely honest with you, I've hated most of season two. Like it's so bad. Um, this episode is where I feel like we're finally like breaking free and we're starting to get into some really good stuff. So for those who have seen this one, go ahead, let me know what you guys think about this. Thank you guys for everything, and I will see you guys next time for Prototype.